solve the problems on queuing model 3 or service in random order model as well as queuing model 4 or finite queue length model by using important formulae. Symbolically represented as MM1 SIRO infinity infinity. Now, here service discipline is mentioned as service in random order. Now, this service discipline does not affect on other parameters that is, queue length, then system length, waiting time in queue, as well as waiting time in system. So, we have to use the formula same as in model 1. Because if we observe the parameters such as arrival rate, service rate, that is same, that is the poison distribution as in model 1, then this is the single server system, then customers allowed, that is infinity, and calling population is also infinity. So only service discipline does not affect on the pa other parameters. So use the formulas given in model 1 to solve the problems related to model 3 and link is given in the description box. Let us understand some important formulas related to model 4 which are useful to solve the problems. Model 4 is symbolically represented as M, M1, FCFS and infinity. Now if we compare this model with model 1, then only difference is that the number of customers allowed in system is finite. That is capital N and that is mentioned in the question. So we can say that model 4 is finite Q length model. And for this model, maximum number of customers allowed in system that is equal to capital N that is mentioned in the question and that is constant. Now how to write the formula for the probability of N customers in the system. But we know that the customers allowed in the system is capital N. So for the small N, so small N may be 0, small N may be 1, 2, up to capital N. So we have to write here probability of n customers in the system with condition that 0 is less than or equal to small n is less than or equal to capital N. So how to write the formula? That is Pn is equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho raised to capital N plus 1 rho raised to small n. Now remember this capital N is mentioned in the question and that is constant but this small n is variable. That is small n may be 0, small n may be 1, 2, small n may be up to capital N. Now P0 is equal to that is the probability of having 0 customers in the system is equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho raised to capital N plus 1. So we can replace this whole term as a P0. So we can write the formula for Pn is equal to P0 rho raised to n. So we can either use this first formula or we can use this second formula. Now we will move to the next formula that is the length of the system. So length of the system again there is the limitations for the customers allowed in the system that is from 0 to capital N. So we have to take the summation. So summation and summation for what? Summation for the number of customers that is minimum number of customers may be 0 and maximum up to capital N. So summation of N is equal to 0 to capital N, N P N. Now for this P N we will write this or replace this P N with this formula. That is 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho raised to capital N plus 1 into rho raised to N. Now if we observe this value small n is variable. So small n may be 0, 1, 2 up to capital N. So we will take the constant term outside this summation. That is this is the constant term. 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho raised to capital N plus 1. So this is the constant term we will take outside the summation. So here summation of n is equal to 0 to capital N, n into rho raised to n. So here we will take the value of n that is equal to 0, 1, 
2 up to capital N. Now when we put this value, now this term that is nothing but P0. So we will write P0 in the bracket. So first we will take here N is equal to 0. Then 0 into rho raised to 0 that is, that is 0. Then we will take the next number that is 1. So 1 into rho raised to 1 that is rho. Then 2. 2 into rho, rho square. Then 3 into rho cube up to capital into rho raised to capital N. So this is the formula to calculate the length of the system. Now we will move to the next formula that is the length of the cube, L cube. So L cube is equal to summation of N is equal to 1 to capital N, N minus 1 P N. So here remember when we are going to calculate the number of customers waiting in queue, then that time we have to take the summation that is N is equal to 1 to capital N. So here N will vary from 1 to up to capital N. Now how to solve this? So we have to put the value because this is the summation. So when we put small n is equal to 1 in this formula then 1 minus 1 0. So 0 into p1 that is 0. So we will write here 0. Then next number we have to put 2. So 2 minus 1 that is 1. 1 into p2. So we have to write here plus p2 plus 3 minus 1 that is 2 and here p3. So 2p3 up to capital N minus 1 into P to the base capital N. So this is the formula we have to use to calculate the length of the cube. Now we will move to the next formula that is the waiting time in system. So waiting time in system WS is equal to LS by lambda dash. So what is this lambda dash that is the effective arrival rate. So we have to calculate this effective arrival rate by taking into consideration this lambda in the bracket 1 minus p to the capital N. So at the base capital N is there because the, the maximum number of customers allowed in the system is capital N and which is constant. So we have to calculate the probability of the maximum number of customers allowed in system. And then we have to use this and we will calculate the effective arrival rate. Then what is the waiting time in Q? So waiting time in Q is equal to LQ by lambda dash. First question. Trains arrive at the yard every 15 minutes and the service time is 33 minutes. If the line capacity of the yard is limited to 4 trains, find First, the probability that the yard is empty. Second, the average number of trains in the system. This question was asked JNTU Hyderabad BTEC November 2010, HPU BTEC MEC June 2010, PUBE MEC November 1996. Let us understand the given data. Arrival time is mentioned 15 minutes as well as service time is also mentioned 33 minutes. So when we calculate arrival rate and service rate then we have to take 1 divided by given time. So lambda is equal to 1 divided by 15 per minute and mu service rate 1 divided by 33 per minute. Now capacity of the yard is given that is it, it is 4 train. So capital N value of capital N is equal to 4N. So we can say that this given question is finite Q length model that is model 4. Now what is the question? So first question is probability that yard is empty. That means probability that there are 0 train. So we have to calculate here P0. So how to cal calculate P0? So when the question is under model uh, 4 that is finite Q length model then we will use the formula 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho raised to capital N plus 1. So rho is equal to lambda by mu that is equal to 2.2. So we, we will put the value now here 1 minus 2.2 divided by 1 minus 2.2 raised to capital N plus 5 that is 4 plus 1 that is 5. So if we observe this numerator and this denominator is having minus sign when we calculate. So this minus minus is getting cancelled and we will get P0 is equal to 0 0.0237. Now we will move to the second question. Average number of trains in the system. So we have to find out what is the length of the system LS. 
So for model four, it, the formula is summation of n is equal to zero to capital N, n p n. Now we will write the formula for p n. So p n is equal to one minus rho divided by one minus rho raised to capital N plus one into rho raised to n. So this inside the bracket, if we observe, this whole term is constant. So we will take here outside the summation. Now, if we take this outside the summation, then summation of n is equal to zero to fourth n into rho raised to n. Now we have to put the value of n from this zero to fourth. That is, when we put here zero, then zero into rho raised to zero. That is zero. Plus, if we put here one, then one into rho raised to one. That is rho. Plus two into rho square. Plus three into rho cube. Plus fourth into rho raised to four. So we here we have to take the summation from zero to four. Now, if we observe the outset, this summation one minus rho divided by one minus rho raised to n plus one. That is nothing but the probability of the MTR, and that we have calculated earlier. So p zero is equal to zero point two three seven. We have to put the value, and what is the value of rho? So rho is two point two. So here we will put the value of rho. That is two point two plus two into two point two square. So we have to solve this multiplication first. Then three into two point two cube plus four into two point two raised to four. So when we solve this, then we have to make the addition, and then only we have to multiply with this term. Answer is three point twenty six. Second question: At a railway station, only one train is handled at a time. The railway yard is sufficient only for two trains to wait while the other is given signal to leave the station. Trains arrive at the station at an average rate of six per hour, and the railway station can handle them on an average of twelve per hour. Assuming poison arrival and exponential service distribution, find the steady state probabilities for the various number of trains in the system. Also find the average number of trains at the railway station and the average waiting time of a new train coming into the yard. This question was asked University of Madras, B.Sc. Math, November 2012. Let us understand the given data. Arrival rate lambda is equal to six trains per hour and service rate mu is equal to twelve tra trains per hour. So if we calculate the value of rho that is equal to lambda by mu and that is equal to 6 divided by 12 and that is equal to 0 0.5. So for calculation we will refer rho is equal to 0 0.5. Then it is given that yard is sufficient for two trains to wait and other given signal to leave. Then at the same time we can if we consider in the whole system Two trains are waiting in queue and one train is given signal. That means there are total number of trains is equal to 3. So here finite number of trains value of n is given. So maximum number of trains in system capital N is equal to 3. And this question is under model 4. Now we will move to the first question. So first question is that probability that there is no train. That means we have to calculate P0. So P0 is equal to 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho raised to n plus 1. n plus 1 that is 3 plus 1, 4. So when we solve this, we will get 0 0.53. Now we will calculate the length of the system. So length of the system, summation of n is equal to 0 to capital N, n p n. Now we will Put here the value of Pn that is 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho raised to n plus 1 rho raised to n. Now here n is variable that is that will vary from 0 to capital N. That means it will vary from 0 to 3. So we have to take the summation by putting the value of n that is 0, 1, 2 and 3. And this value that is 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho raised to capital N plus 1. This is constant. And we will take this constant outside the summation. So here this value is nothing but P0. So we can directly put the value of P0. Now how to solve this remaining that is summation of n is equal to 0 to 3 n rho raised to n. So first we will put the value of 0 that is 0 into rho raised to n 0 plus 
Now we will put the value of 1 that is 1 into rho raised to 1 that is rho plus 2 into rho square plus 3 into rho cube. Now value of rho is 0 0.5. So when we solve this we have to solve this bracket first then we will get the answer 0 0.72875. Now we will move to the second question waiting time in Q that is W. So for that we have to calculate length of Q which is equal to summation of n is equal to n to capital N, n minus 1 Pn. So value of Pn we will put here 1 minus rho divided by 1 minus rho raised to capital N plus 1 rho raised to n. Now if we observe this bracket whole term is constant. Now we will take outside this summation and we will put summation of n is equal to 1 to 3 n minus 1 into rho raised to n. Now we will put the value of n from 1 to 3 and we will take the addition. So here this term that, that is nothing but P0. So we will put P0 in the bracket. If I put here 1 that is 1 minus 1 0. So here first term will be 0 plus say next number is 2. 2 minus 1 that is 1 and rho square plus 3 minus 1 that is 2 into rho cube. Now rho value is 0 0.5 so we will put the value and if we solve this bracket first and multiply with value of P0 that is the probability of MDR then we will get the answer 0 0.265. So this is the length of the cube. Now we have to calculate the effective arrival rate that is lambda dash. So lambda dash is equal to lambda in the bracket 1 minus Pn. So here Pn is probability of having three number of trains in the yard. So we have to first calculate the value of Pn. So formula for Pn is equal to P0 into rho raised to n. So here n is equal to 3. That's why we can write here P3 is equal to P0 that is 0 0.53 into rho 0 0.5 raised to 3. So answer is 0 0.06625. Now we will put the value of this Pn into this formula to calculate the effective arrival rate. So effective arrival rate lambda dash is equal to lambda. Lambda that is 6 in the bracket 1 minus 0 0.6625. So lambda dash is equal to 5.60. Now how to calculate this WQ? So WQ that is waiting time in Q is equal to length of Q divided by lambda dash. So length of Q that we have calculated 0 0.265 divided by 5.60 and answer is 0 0.0473. Now if we observe here this arrival rate and service rate is given in hour. So this waiting time is also unit is hour. Now we will convert this hour into minutes. So in one hour there are total 60 minutes. So if we multiply this term with 60 then we will get the answer 2.83 minutes.